Hey everyone, I want to make another video um, talking about tips and lures to use for burbit. Uh, one of the feedbacks that I got was the audio wasn't very good on my last video from last year. And honestly, we got our burbit bash here in Utah and Wyoming starting in less than a week. And for personal reasons, we weren't able to go on the burbit bash last year. So I'm really excited and wanted to talk about it. Um, I've got some guys on the team that have never done it just like last year and I've been kind of talking to them about some of the stuff to use and how to fish for them and I just kind of wanted to cover a couple other lures that I'm going to be using through the ice and the last video I talked a lot about the uh, painted spoons that I use and if you don't have time to paint the spoons or if you're not looking to take the time if you want to just go to the store and grab something there's plenty of options you can use so I'm going to cover a couple of those real quick um, the first one is this Gary Yamamoto jig, and at the uh, once I'm done talking about the lures, I'll turn off the light, and that's why I'm in my cellar because it's darker, and I can show you guys the glow better. But these Yamamotos glow really good. Put a good size glow jig head on it, drop it down real quick, um, right there. Usually when the bird would come through, they come to school, so you want to drop your lure back down real quick, and you can pluck a couple up. Out of one little school, one grouping. This is my uh, the spoons from last year, and it's that natural glow paint that I used um, in the video last year. This year I did discover a new paint on YouTube. If you guys want to look it up, it's called Alum the Glow, and I picked the teal just because I wanted a different color down there. I wanted more variation, something different. But this new paint, if you charge, if you give it a one minute glow, it's supposed to say charge for hours. So that's what I'm going to put on my tip ups and my jaw jacker so that way I'm not having to walk away from my other poles and worry about charging them every 15 to 20 minutes like you usually want to. Hopefully with this new paint I'll be able to just charge it once, let it sit for a couple hours and then go back and charge it after I catch a couple. So I actually put that on the back side of this. I usually don't paint the insides, I usually just do one side but I had a bunch of the extra paint once you mix it up you kinda gotta use it so I've got one I got this jig right here that I did in it, and I'm pretty excited. When I when I painted them the first time, because I only put one coat on it, but I painted a bunch of different lures in this. Um, as I was painting it and glowing it and charging it, as I was doing it, it actually I came back an hour later. Once I was done, and it was still glowing pretty good. So I'm I'm excited about that one. I've never given it a shot. Another one that we're gonna use is are these cutter bugs, these glow cutter bugs just in the natural glow just so when you're down there jigging it gives a little motion down there um, just something they charge really really good and they they glow the charge only takes a couple seconds they glow really bright we haven't used these before but I'm pretty excited about using them we have used these Yamamoto's before and I've caught most of my fish on the spoons but I did catch my biggest on a Yamamoto just like this a little two and a half inch curly tail grub and then last, this is something I've never done before, um, but I wanted to give it a shot. I just took a lipless crank, covered it in paint. It's not the prettiest paint job. My paint was really thick and not working too great for me, but I'll drop this down there with the sucker meat on the end, and if you can hear, it's got a rattle, so I'll pound the bottom with that. Just something to try to bring some more attention over to the area. Like I said, they, they don't see great, so the glow is important, and then if I can add some rattle to the scent, I figure why not give it a shot. So when you're fishing for the burbot, you want to bounce your lure right off the bottom. Um, they usually hug the bottom pretty good. So drop your drop your lure down. Once you know that you're on the bottom, just give your reel a full rotation or a half rotation just to get it off the bottom a few inches. You don't you know when you look at your flasher when you're in 25, 40 foot of water, it looks like you're right on the bottom, but you're more than likely going to be a foot or so off the bottom before you get that clear mark that you're off the bottom. So drop it down once you know your depth and just give give your spool a half rotation, a full rotation. Just keep it right there close to the bottom. Pound the bottom a lot. They respond pretty good to jigging. They respond good to dead stick as well. So now I will show you the uh, the glow. Like I said, make sure you've got your UV your UV lights, they give a more concentrated, powerful charge to your lures. So 
I just picked up this new light this year. It's got 55 bulbs on it. It's a 365 power. So let me give these lures a glow. Like I said, it's dark now. So this is going to be the Gary Yamamoto. I'm just going to hit that for a few seconds. You can see how good that thing glows. So you'll just tie that on, put your sucker meat on the tip, just bounce that off the bottom, get some attention down there. And this this holds a pretty good charge. Um, preferably you want to do everything after about 15 minutes. So charge them up often and get them down there. But this holds a pretty good glow for quite a while. Next is the spoon from last year. These are the, the natural glow spoons that I, I showed in my other video. Charge those up. And that glows super bright. So same thing, sucker meat right on the hooks, pound the bottom, bounce it against the rock or sand, whatever you got down there, stir up some dirt and draw some attention over to you. And this, I, I think these work so good just because it's such a large face of glow. There's just, it's a lot of glow down there. They can see it pretty easy. Now this next one is the new, uh, the, the new paint, the Alumna Glow. And I, like I said, I did the teal color because everything I do is the natural glow. So I wanted to give a different different presentation. And like I said, I probably would have ordered the natural glow. They just didn't have any in stock when I went to go order it. And so I got the teal. And the teal is one of the colors that glows the longest. So I'm excited to give that a shot. There's the teal. And I just hit that for about 15 seconds. Super, super bright glow. I don't know if you can tell the difference too much. This is that Gary Yamamoto that I just showed you. And even though this one's been freshly charged and this has been sitting for a minute, you can see a noticeable, noticeable difference. And this one right here is supposed to stay charged for hours. So like I said, jaw jackers, tip ups, anything that you're going to have away from you, this is what I'm really excited for. I'm going to also run a couple of these on my regular, uh, regular lines that I have right there in the hut because we can use up to six. Last, well, no, I got one more besides this one. This is that uh, that rattle trap, that lipless crank. I'm going to try something new this year. So just a big glob of glow. Doesn't really look like much. But with that rattle down there, there's a lot of surface glow. And then I'll have that sucker meat also on the sides of it. Spread some of that crawfish smelly jelly. That's always important, too. Crawfish is their main food source. So... Crockfish scent is always really good. And then this is, um, my brother-in-law stumbled across this when we were at the store. We haven't used it before, but we like the idea of the tails just creating a different motion down there. This thing glows really good. We've never used them before, but we picked them up. We're pretty excited to give this a shot. Same thing, all these we're just going to pound right off the bottom. And, um... That bright glow is going to make a world of difference. If you don't have the glow, it's it's going to hurt you. The glow, glow is one of the most important things. Um, I know here in Utah and Wyoming we use uh, chunks of sucker meat or chub meat in other parts of the country. And even up in Canada, I know people use live bait, live minnows and everything. But it's against regulations here in Utah, so we use the sucker meat. So this is that teal color now out of the dark you can see it's kind of got a blue tint to it but yeah set your lines up with eight to ten pound tests I usually run ten pound oh eight pound tests I've got a couple with with ten just being optimistic I'll get a big one but um ten pound tests pound the bottom south facing slopes rocky structures uh, we like to target ten to, or twenty to forty feet and space out if you're not hitting them in one spot, move until you find kind of where they're moving from their uh, spawning grounds to their feeding grounds. Right now during the winter, uh, especially at the end of this uh, this month in January, they do two spawns through the ice, so they're going to be spawning. So you'll have your protective ones on the outside of the spawn beds that are trying to keep everything safe in the spawn beds, and then you'll have your big females that are just eating up everything. So. If you're not finding them in one spot, pop a bunch of holes, move around until you find them, and hopefully you can find that traffic way where they're, where they're coming and going. But like I said, glow, smelly jelly on the back of it, 
um, and then your sucker meat on the bottom, hug the bottom with your lure, and hopefully that's going to be enough to put you guys on the burbots and you'll have a successful trip. Like I said, we're heading out for the bash here in about six days. We're real excited. Never got to go last year, so I mostly pretty much made this video because I I'm excited for it and wanted to talk about it and wanted to give a better idea and a better video. The last video I did, um, the sound wasn't that great from what I've heard, so I wanted to give you guys one more. And if any of you guys are going out for the bash or any of the other ling con contests that the gorge is doing this year, good luck. If you're in other parts of the country and you just want to target some burbot, hopefully some of these lures and will help help put you on some fish. But good luck to everyone and thanks for watching.